we're going to unbox a Vortex Z G65. I bought this open box from eBay and let's get into it. But before we do, I'm going to rebrand myself somehow as the artist who does phones or the phone guy who does art. But stick around at the very end. We'll go over Epic Force and how you can help this channel grow. All right. Let's pop this Vortex ZG65 open. All right, there we are, Vortex. Very nice, very nice packaging. I like that. It's it's uh, seems to be like they took a little bit of care to get that. And let's look a little bit. I'm going to immediately look at the main. It's got a MTK six seven three nine processor. 32 gigabytes memory, 3,800 milliamp battery. And let's compare that to, real quick, Vortex HD 6.5, which it has, this one boasts the 1.5 gigahertz quad core. And let's see, also 32 gigabytes memory. And the Vortex HD 65 Select has 4,000 milliamp hour battery let's peel that protect the coating off and let's look to see that's what the vortex hd 65 looks like and the zg i like that camera protective thing on zg is a little bit rounder very cool looking though and compare it to the 62, a degree bigger than the 62. Let's see, it's the 60. I think the ZG is supposed to be just slightly bigger. Let's see, and I'm going to look at this. It looks like they've already put on the protective film. I don't know if that comes standard, if they already put it on, or if the person I bought it from put that on. Let's see, they already have the battery in here for me. Yeah, make sure that's closed. Let's see, feels heavy enough that it has the battery in, and the battery is in. Let's see if we can look at some more specs on the ZG. Compare it to the 65. Yeah, it's just a little bit bigger screen. I think, I think yeah, 6.5 inch screen on the HD and the ZG. Just a little bit bigger with the, oh, where did that, 6.5? 517 in cell HD plus and overall everything's about the same same uh, same camera 5 megapixel front facing 8 me megapixel rear facing both powered by Android 13 although the ZG has the Android 13 go which you know for most applications that it's going to be sufficient for a budget phone like what the vortex vortex is. I'm gonna pop the back off real quick and see. Do we get do we get the dual dual SIM, which is gonna be great for people who travel, and then also the exchangeable battery. So in case your battery ever, let's find out real quick if it's backwards compatible with the 65, because that that can be important if you're updating and you're like, oh, I'm gonna hold on to my HD 65 uh, or my HD even 62. To see, you know, just as a backup battery. Let me get this HD65. Does the HD65 fit into the ZG65? And the answer is no. Much narrower. Which I'm pretty sure that's going to mean that the uh, that the 62 is not going to fit in either. Because the 62 is, will fit into the 65. Let's double check. Yeah, not backwards compatible. Not compatible with the other two, 65 or 62. All right, let's power this back on. Make sure we get that battery lined up the right way. Make sure that back cover is all the way clicked on. Turn it back on. I won't wait. I won't make you wait for it to power back on. All right, now that we're powered back on, let's take a quick peek in the rest of the box and see what else. So the other thing I like about the Vortex 
phones is it comes with, even though it's a budget phone, it still comes with a, a protective case already right out of the box. I would encourage you always to put your protective case on. And then it comes with the, does it give a wattage on here? 2 amp, 10 watt. So that's a speed. That's a, that's a hefty charger for you. So all in all, uh, either way, going with the HD 65 or the HD, or the ZG, I need to have the words ZG in front of me so I can remember to say ZG when I'm talking about the ZG. All right, I'm going to turn this on and get some Wi-Fi on and let's compare. As I'm turning Wi-Fi, oh, actually I don't have to. I can skip the Wi-Fi. Oh no, I don't want to skip the Wi-Fi because I want to compare uh, how quickly we connect to the internet. Stand by. All right, so we're making progress. Got the HD on this side, the ZG on this five. This side, as I'm handling them, I really like, I mean, I like the square, I like the, the, the sharper angles of the HD, but the ZG feels, that feels like it's made for your hand, just a little bit more curved. It feels like it's made for your hand. All right, let's make sure that this is not bogged down with uh, advertisements. Certainly hope not. And as you set up your phone for the first time, I mean, you, you definitely can, um, you know, you, you can turn off all the Google settings. It's just up, up to you what you want to do. I don't really need it to send, di well, these are going to be reset and I'm going to make a million videos with these. Oh, that's a cool, I like that cool logo. That's kind of neat. No advertisements on the ZG65. I appreciate that in a phone. They were not bogged down with choosing apps and, you know, making you go through a lot of data input on these phones. So in a previous video, I've uh, logged into the Android system to change up the 65 and we'll do another video on the ZG65 to show you how to speed it up just a little bit. What, what it does, it's settings that help all these little tiny animations, even how it, how it transitions between screens like that where there's just there's a little bit see how that just changes from white like that you can have settings deep inside they're easy and anybody can do them to change that so your phone just goes just a little bit faster let's go to youtube for the first time and see what we get with as far as like videos and let's compare it to the hd now i've reset the hd so that it's not the Allowed, send you, and I don't need notifications right now. So they're they're going to be similar in speed. We don't don't need to allow that. Oh, you that looks crisp and clear. Let's hit shorts. Let's hit shorts. I like dark mode on the standard, or this comes with dark mode right away. How to choose Nacho Night. All right, I'm not going to fault the ability of the phone to connect to Wi-Fi for the first time. But as far as, as far as the phone functioning, it feels, it feels good. Let's see, I, I like to go to the test of using the phone for the first time. Yeah, it bring, brings everything up nicely. I like to do a test of how quickly it brings up settings. Yeah, everything comes up comes up approximately similar of what I would expect from a phone. Let's do let's do it. Just a quick uh, camera to brings up the camera. That took a second for it to get going. Let me get a little wipe that. Oh, it's got the protective lens or the protective cover on the back. I'm not going to take that off yet. Okay, well. Let's take that off anyway. And yeah, it looks like it made, you know, it makes a picture the right way. I mean, again, these are not performance, high performance cameras, five megapixel and eight megapixel facing that way. So there's not a lot. I mean, it has a little bit of a zoom. One time, how, how far does that zoom? 
for X zoom. That's not bad. That's not bad for a budget phone. It'll, it'll get the job done. So there you have it. That is the Vortex ZG65 opening and initial setup. Um, I mean, I mean, it looks, I still like the, the, the little bit of raised is cool. And then when you put the, uh, it should even out when you put the, uh, the case on Here's the case, a little place for it to put uh card on the inside. Let's see what that case looks like when we get it on. Yeah, that's a sharp looking phone. That's a sharp looking phone for a budget phone. And I would put your case on immediately before you go to use it. And this, if this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Hey, thank you for watching. Hey, thank you for sticking around I can, so I can talk about my Epic Force coloring book. This is available on Amazon. Just look up Epic Force Volume 1 and you will get a coloring book that is similar to this. It's not going to have anything already colored, but there, there's an example of just what you can do and how fun and it'll to teach you to be a better artist. And one of these is very abstract art. Uh, I'm influenced. I like Klimp. I like the artist Klimp. And uh, here's one that's all black and white and gray and gold and silver. And then I, I, this is a real picture I did. This is a real from a photo that uh, a trip that I took to Rocky Mountain National Park. I just love the outdoors. I love learning how to do art. And then this is this was uh, some inspiration for for uh, this Epic Force book, where I just cut watercolor, the blue moon in the back, and just try to make cool art with you know at my ability. This is a magical tree in the middle of a forest with a little bit of uh, a metallic watercolor paints. And you know as I'm learning to become a better artist, uh, you know I'm just having fun. It's just fun and relaxing. This is the original that went on the. It's, again, it's the Tree of Life. This is similar to the Tree of Life that, again, uh, the famous artist Klimp has. Some, this inspired me to do my own version, and this made it. We put ended up putting this on the back cover, uh, black and white on this side, and then the colored version on this side. So, if you love art, if you want a coloring book that will push you to become a better artist, uh, go over, head over to Amazon, type in Epic Force Volume One, and you'll see. Uh, we call ourselves the Epic Coloring Pages, and you'll see a number of different coloring books uh, that we've put out and published on Amazon. All right, appreciate you sticking around for the art, and see you next time.